Dear Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, I would like to congratulate you on winning the election. I can only imagine how proud your father would be to see you follow his steps. Your win is a breath of hope for millions of Canadians. For me, your victory gives me optimism that my father will soon be home. Seeing you with your mother, your wife and your children reflects a leader who has the heart, compassion and courage to help reunite my family. The last 14 months made me question reality when I heard you say, a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. That a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. The Canadian government has let my family down. It allowed the United Arab Emirates to arbitrarily detain my father, a Canadian citizen, hold him incommunicado and torture him without any charges. This is not the Canada that I know. Canada should stand up for and care about Canadian citizens everywhere. I am sure you will be true to your words. I pray that not only being a citizen of this great country makes you a Canadian, but more importantly, a human being that should be treated like a human being, not tortured, humiliated, and having his most basic human rights violated. Every night I close my eyes and cry. I cry because being a Canadian to me means having a sense of safety. But without my father, I no longer feel safe. No father deserves to be mistreated in these ways. Just try to imagine what my sisters, brother and I go through each and every day, not knowing if we will ever see my father again. Mr. Prime Minister, you just ran the longest campaign in Canadian history, 78 days. However, I have been campaigning for over 420 days, and I will never stop until my father comes home. I wish I could celebrate with you, Mr. Prime Minister, but my campaign and my fight is not over yet. My name is Marwa Laradi. I'm 18 years old, and I miss my father, Salim Al Aradi. I need your help. I need you to intervene. I need you to bring justice to my family, and I need you to bring my father home. Thank <laughs> you.